Good morning and welcome to the Weekly Insights with John Plassard. While virtual currencies are multiplying and traditional currencies are going through a period of crisis, the democratization of cryptocurrencies is beginning to be confirmed and on an economic scale. The next few years could mark an intensification of the diffusion of cryptocurrencies observed in recent years. Consequently, the diffusion of this new form of currency in daily life could lead to particularly interesting economic and financial reactions. In 2018, the number of users of cryptocurrencies was estimated at 35 million worldwide. Today, according to a study by the University of Cambridge, there were more than 100 million crypto holders in the world in 2020, an increase of more than 290%. These figures are found in the capitalization of the main crypto uh, currency, Bitcoin. Bitcoin recent, uh, represented a total of, one, of $15 billion in December 2016 compared to the 832 at the beginning of, of this week. If we have to compare this with the valuation of uh, the GDP, to give an idea, Bitcoin represented 0.4% of German GDP of the German GDP at the end of 2016 against more than 21% today. In other words, the capitalization of Bitcoin today is three times greater than uh, companies like such as LVMH in Europe or similar to Tesla in the United States. While Tesla recently started that it had purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, Apple could be the next one. Less than two weeks after Visa CEO said that it was able to make cryptocurrencies more secure, useful, and applicable, and that it could add them to the company's payment network, Mastercard detailed why it also planned to begin supporting certain cryptocurrencies directly on its network. Whatever your view on cryptocurrencies, from the diehard fanatic to the total skeptic, the fact remains that these digital as assets are becoming an increasingly important part of the payments world. We are also seeing users increasingly taking advantage of cryptographic cards to access these assets and convert them into traditional currencies for spending. While central banks are not really taking a stand on the subject, they are studying the feasibility of a digital version of their currency. Do you think that one day we will pay our bread in Bitcoin rather than in Euro? The answer may come sooner than you think. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Don't hesitate to read my morning and of course, keep on winning.